This interactive content is developed for wearing on virtual reality glasses. You can experience this virtual environment by turning your head in the direction you would like to look. If you are standing, take care to stay at least 2 meters away from the items around you in order not to lose your balance and to avoid injury. You can also access the video through your web browser. By clicking your cursor on the video, you can rotate the image in the direction you'd like to look. An oasis in the middle of the chaotic city structure. An airport that Vijihi Hukush made a historical flight. An ecosystem that hosts different living species. This is Green Tales Ankara. These photos surrounding you represent Ankara University main campus in Tandoan, taken in different time periods, 1948, 1957, 1966, 1976, and 1990. You can clearly see that the city developed rapidly and empty spaces were filled with residences. The history of Ankara University Faculty of Science which was founded in 1943 with the dream of becoming a technical university is much older than you think. The campus is an airport which was used by Vidyuhi Hürkuş in the early years of the Republic and it takes it from here and travels to Tehran. This campus established for the purpose of herbarization of the plants and plant communities. In this campus, there are more than 160 trees and treelets. So those trees that you see over there and here are planted by considering a certain symmetry. In this campus, there are five monumental trees. Here you see the red juniper. That juniper is mostly known for its beautiful fragments. Now I will try to show you some details. Can you feel the smell? Welcome back everybody. The vegetation is also important for the life of other living things. Birds, insects, butterflies live here. Six securos were left here and they were seen breeding. There are also bird species which might be surprising for you, such as the refugee parrots, which have gotten used to living here since the 1950s. The saplings which were grown here were later planted in the metro land and created the Middle East Technical University Forest. Now I'll show you a great tree. This gigantic tree is Arizona Cypress. Because of its high resistance to droughts, it's used in combating erosion. This tree loves humid weather and sandy soil. It has a wind blocking characteristic and it holds the dust. Now let's experience this great tree together. affect the climate of this area. So the buildings protect those trees from winter and also from the wind. And you see those trees are able to grow comfortably. This magnificent tree is Himalayan pine, which is known with its deep roots. This tree stays green both in winter and summer. It is also highly valued for its relatively high resistance to the air pollution. This tree that you see is false cypress, which needs protection from the winter winds because it can easily dry them out. Did you know that this one is used for temple construction in Japan? And you can feel how strong it is when you touch the tree. The campus is a preferable area because of the oxygen which was provided by the trees and the vegetation. In the years when the coal was used and the air pollution was high, Rockweeds and the lichen did not exist. They occurred after the natural gas started to be used. The rockweeds first started living on the campus, which can be an indicator of the clean air. This huge tree is Abyss normaniana, which is the biggest one in Ankara. This type of fir loves the rainy climate and high places. The humidity that the pools provide has saved this tree from freezing. You can see the leaves here. There are too many highways and busy streets around the campus. And in Ankara, there are more than 2 million cars. 
The campus is in the center of Ankara. The campus of this capital university is located in the middle of a very crowded city. Over the decades, it witnessed a growing nation and immense urbanization. In this grey ocean of concrete buildings, it is a green oasis, giving birth to various types of plants and animals. We are now understanding and looking at the bigger picture for green thinking, a green perspective of politics, technology, economics, and even our personal lives. The simplest things are often the truest, as we all know that the earth is what we all have in common. You have now witnessed a green tale from Ankara, where we breathe the history through the leaves of the surrounding trees. <laughs>